New tonight at 8, California's lieutenant governor weighing in on the upcoming Supreme Court hearings on same-sex marriage and talking about his role and what's happening now. Crown Force Dan Kerman sat down with Gavin Newsom today and has this report. No one could have predicted, and I sure as heck never predicted, how far this country and its consciousness uh, would have come on the issue of marriage equality. It's been nine years since then San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom directed the city clerk to begin issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Those marriages eventually were ruled illegal. But many credit Newsom with getting the ball rolling on marriage equality. We stretch people's imagination about what's possible. Uh, Michelangelo said it better than anyone else. Said the biggest risk in life is not that we aim too high and miss it. It's that we aim too low and reach it. You know, if the debate was civil unions, that's not good enough. And that's a debate we may have succeeded and achieved, but it wouldn't have achieved marriage equality and full rights. Newsom calls it a team effort. And with marriage equality now on the doorstep of the U.S. Supreme Court, he credits same-sex couples, politicians, and attorneys who, despite setbacks, refuse to give up. Well, it's just a testament uh, to the old adage, the Dr. King frame, that it's always the right time to do the right thing. And if you want to change things, you got to do things. You can't just hold hands, have a candlelight vigil, and talk about the way the world should be. you got to humanize it. And I think if there's anything we did in 2004 is we helped put a human face on the issue, that it wasn't a legal brief that was being advanced in the courts that was about discrimination in the abstract. It was about real people and their lives and their suffering. Newsom says he's remarkably optimistic optimistic about the upcoming U.S. Supreme Court hearings. And he's hoping the rulings will allow same-sex couples to marry not just in California, but across the nation. We have a court that has the opportunity to step up and do the right thing, not only be on the right side of history, but to right the wrong in those 31 states that have constitutional bans on same-sex marriage and affirm it in those seven states that have only civil unions and ratify the good work that was done out here in California. The U.S. Supreme Court is scheduled to hear oral arguments in the Prop 8 and DOMA cases on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.